here in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in matrimony. It's not to be entered into unadvisedly, but discreetly, sincerely, in the dedication of this life. William Whited, will you have this woman to be thy wedded wife, to live together in the bonds of matrimony? Will thou love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? William Smith, will you have this man to be thy wedded husband, to live together in the bonds of matrimony? Will thou love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health? Just repeat after me, okay? I, William, take thee, Lori Ann, to be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. As long as life shall last. And thereto I pledge thee my faith. I, Lori Ann, take thee, William, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, as long as life shall last. And I dare to pledge thee my faith. <laughs> the wedding ring is an outward and visible sign signifying unto all the united of this man and this woman in matrimony. If you repeat after me, just repeat after me one more time. In token and pledge of the vow of the vow between us made with this ring, I do wed. In token and pledge of the vow between us made, with this ring, I do wed. For as much for as much as William and Lori Ann have consented together in wedlock and have witnessed the same to each other, and before these witnesses, and by giving and by giving and receiving a ring, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of West Virginia. And this court, I now pronounce you man and wife. And you can kiss me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yay! Y'all are married. They are. <laughs>